Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at an exponential equation. In the following equation, we are given 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power, power of x is equal to the square root of 6 to the power of x minus 9 to the power of x. And of course, we are going to be solving for the value of x. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to look at the values contained within the square root 6 and 9. We can easily tell that 6 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 and 9 is obviously equal to 3 squared. So we are going to make use of this to link this square root with the values on the left hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite 6 to the power of x to be 2x 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x. As for 9x, we are going to go ahead and write that as 3 square to the power of x or more conveniently we can write that as 3x square. Next, let me go ahead and rewrite our original equation using 2 to the power of x and 3 to the power of x. On the left hand side things remain unchanged so what I have is 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x. On the right hand side, I'm going to rewrite what's within the square root as 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x square. From here, things look things on both the left hand side and the right hand side look the same. So I'm just going, going to go ahead and use a substitution to make things easier. So I'm going to say let a equal to 2 to the power of x and b to be equal to 3 to the power of x. So once again, we are going to rewrite our original equation in terms of a and b. What I have now is a minus b is equal to the square root of a b minus b square. The next step should be fairly obvious. We are going to take the square on both sides just so that we can get rid of the square root. So if I do that, means I will have on the left hand side a square minus 2ab plus b square. And on the right hand side, the square root and the square will cancel each other. So now what I'm left with is ab minus b square put everything together on the left hand side, what I have now is a square minus 3ab plus 2b square equal to 0. I'm going to use the cross multiplication method to try to factorize this quadratic equation. So what I have is a, a, 2b and b. From here, this will be a square and this will be 2b square. I can put a minus sign here and I put a minus sign here. So when I do a cross multiplication, I have minus 2ab and minus ab, which works out to be minus 3ab. So in other words, on the quadratic equation, I can factorize that to be a minus 2b, a minus b equal to 0. If I try to solve this, I have a minus 2b equal to 0, a equal to 2b. And if a minus b is equal to 0, then a will be equal to b. Let's consider each solution individually. On the first scenario, I have a equal to 2b. Using our original values for a and b, I have 2x is equal to 2 times 3 to the power of x. So if I were to divide both sides by 3 to the power of x, what I have now is 2 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 2. I can use log to solve this. So if I take a log base 2 over 3 on both sides, this will become log 
2 over 3, 2. And of course, based on the laws of logarithm, the exponents will be brought to the front, and this will be equal to 1. In other words, I work out the value of x to be equal to log base 2 over 3, 2. You can go on to work out the exact value, but we are just going to leave it at this right here. On the second scenario, I have a is equal to b, meaning I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x. There's only one value of x which satisfies this value, meaning I have 2x equal to 3x equal to 1. So if 2x is equal to 1 or 3x is equal to 1, obviously x is equal to 0. So that's our second answer for this equation. x equal to 0 and x equal to log base 2 over 3, 2. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a good day. Take care.